Now the next point is about tangent of a circles. Circle. Tangents of a circle. So the first form is slope form. Slope form is y equals to mx plus minus a root 1 plus m square. Fine. B is point form. Point form is x x1 plus y y1 is equals to a square or t equals to 0. As this equation can be written as x square plus y square is equals to a square. So x square changes to x x1 as I discussed this in parabola. Y square changes to y y1 is equals to a square. Fine. So this is the form of tangent. This is t equals to 0. <coughs> this is the uh, a slope form. And then we have the third type as parametric form. Parametric form. Parametric form suggests x cos alpha plus y sin alpha is equals to a. Fine. So this is the parametric form of a tangent or for a circle. Now whenever I say s is equals to 0, this implies x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c is equals to 0. I am talking about the circle. If I say s1 is equals to 0, this implies I have a point x1 comma y1 and I have put this point in this circle. So it will be x1 square plus y1 square plus 2gx1 plus 2fy1 plus c. <coughs> this will be your s1 is equals to 0. Okay. Now, if I have, uh, okay, this is the thing, then we move on to the pair of tangents from point. Let's say this is a circle and this is a point, then there will be two tangents from this point. So this pair of tangents, this equation of pair of tangents is given by S, S1 is equals to T square. T equals to 0, you know, so T you know. Then S S1, S1 is the point you put in circle and S is the original equation of the circle. So when you multiply these two and solve this equation, then you will get the equation for pair of tangents. Okay, and then you can divide the tangents. So you will get two tangents. One is this and second is this. The next point is <coughs> length of a tangent. Length of a tangent. This is the length of the tangent. Two. This is the length. This is the length of the tangent 1, length tangent 1, length, tangent, length of tangent 2, fine. So how is this calculated? The length of tangent <coughs> is equals to root of S1, fine. So length of a tangent can be written as root of S1. That means if you have given a point, you have given a circle, then the length of tangent from this point OP will be equal to root S1. That is, we put the point in the circle and take the root of that. So that will be your distance, length of a tangent. Then the next point is director circle. So the director circle is x square plus y square is equals to 2a square for the circle x square plus y square is equals to a square. For this circle, we have this director circle. That means if you have a circle x square plus y square is equals to a square, the center will be 0, 0, radius will be a. Then, if you draw one circle concentric with this, that is the center is same, but the radius will change to, the radius will change to root 2a, then this, this is, this circle is called the director circle. In JE, the question asked are directly that you are given this equation, find the director circle, and if the radius of director circle is this, then what is the value of a, just like that. So easy question will be asked from the director circle. So this is not that much important. Then chord of contact. Chord of contact. This is always given by t equals to 0 in any of the ellipse, parabola, hyperbola, circle. Everywhere it is given by t equals to 0. Fine. Now length of this chord of contact. Length of chord of contact is 2 L R divided by root of 
R square plus L square. Right? Now, the formula for, let me have another page, area of the triangle, the area of the triangle formed by the pair of tangents and its chord of contact. Chord of contact, let me tell you how is it formed. Let's say this is a point, then this will be a tangent, this will be a tangent. So this chord is the chord of contact. This is the point of contact P, this is the point of uh, contact Q. There is a point O from which tangents are drawn. So PQ is the chord of contact. And this equation is T equals to 0. Okay. Now, length of this chord is chord of contact is 2LR. Okay. R is the radius of the circle. L is the perpendicular distance. Fine. Now, uh, this is the given thing. Now, okay. So the area of triangle formed by the tangent, this area is given by R L Q divided by R square plus L square. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry, this is not a R is this. Let me draw it with another pen. This is R. This is your L. Fine. Now, tangent of the angle between the third formula tangent of the angle between the pair of tangents from any point let's say x1 comma y1 it is given by 2 r l upon l square minus r square fine so these all are simple things if you know the uh, points O, P and Q, you can directly derive it by t equals to 0, you have the equation, then using, you know, algebra, you can always find using trigonometry and algebra, this theta and this uh, radius, this L, then length of perpendicular, R, fine, so all you can find using this and the tangent of the angle, now this will be the angle, so you can apply trigonometry to that or anything. Now. The fourth point, equation of the circle, circle circumscribing the triangle P, T1, T2, right? This is P, this is T1, this is T2. So this is your triangle and the equation of circle circumscribing this triangle. Uh, I have to taught you this in the x circles. Okay. So the equation will be x minus x1 into x plus g plus y minus y1. x1, y1 are this, these points. x minus x1 plus y minus y1 into y plus f is equals to 0. This is the equation of the circle which is circumscribing this triangle, right? This P T1 T2. This circle's equation will be this. Now, condition of orthogonality of two circles. This is important because this has been asked many times. Orthogonality of two circles. The condition for this is 2 G1 G2 plus 2 f1 f2 is equals to c1 plus c2 where the equation of two circles is x square plus y square plus 2 g1 x plus 2 f1 y plus c1 is equals to 0 and x square plus y square plus 2 g2 x plus 2 f2 y plus c2 is equals to 0 so you have two conditions you two have two equations of circles uh, two circles and the orthogonality of these two circles will be because of this condition. If they satisfy this condition, if the G1, G2, F1, F2 and C1, C2 satisfy this condition, then the two circles are called the 
said to be orthogonal. Then you have a radical axis. The formula for radical axis. Radical axis S1 minus S2 is equals to 0. Or you can write 2 G1 minus G2 into X plus 2 F1 minus F2. S1 minus S2 I am doing into Y plus uh, C1 minus C2 is equals to 0. This condition, if this satisfies uh, the equation of radical axis, that is, if you have two circles, then this will be a radical axis. So, this is given by 2g1 minus g2x, that is, s1 minus s2 is equals to 0. You just subtract the two circles. Then, one more important topic is the family of circles. Family of circles, this say that uh, if you have s1, that is uh, one circle, then you have a second circle, then you can write this as the family of circle. If you have two circles, if you have a circle and a line, then you can write s plus k times l is equals to zero. Fine, this is the equation of, uh, the equation of, this is the family of circles containing a circle and a line, okay? Because a circle and a line can form many, uh, many equations, right? Two circles can can be anything like this, can be this. So there are many things. So the equation of circles is given by s1 plus k s2 is equals to zero, and s s plus k r is equals to zero is given by a circle and a line. Now we'll move on to some formula. The general equation of the circle is this: uh, is given by x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c is equals to 0. Okay, Remember this because this is most important. The general equation of circle. And where g, f and c will be given to you are constant. Center of the circle I, I told you minus g comma minus f and this is the center. The radius of the circle is given by root of g square plus f square minus c. Fine. This is the radius of the circle. Then length of the intercept I told you. Now, important conditions, two important conditions I'm going to tell you are let s s is equals to zero and let's say s dash is equals to zero. These are two circles with centers C1 and C2 and radii. Radii is the plural of radius. R1, comma, R2. Fine. You have two circles with center C1, C2 and radius R1, R2. Fine. Now, respectively, of course. Then the first condition that satisfy is if C1, C2 is greater than R1 plus R2. That is the distance between the centers is greater than the distance between the centers is greater than this R1, this R2. C1, C2. C1, C2 is greater than R1, R2. This means that there is some space here. There is a line here. So that's why the circle will be completely outside the, the first circle, each circle. This implies each circle lies completely outside the other circle. That means they have nothing in common. Okay? Like this, like this. They have something in between them. Something in between. Them. Because the distance between the centers is greater than the sum of the radius. Now, next point is if C1, C2 is, grid, is equals to R1 plus R2. That means they will touch each other. If this is the condition that C1, C2 is equals to R1 plus R2. C1, C2 is equals to R1 plus R2. This implies they, the two circles touch each other at a point. Right? This is the point where they touch each other. Now, the point of contact, this is called the point of contact. And it divides C1 and C2 in the ratio R1, S2, R2. So you can use the 
section formula and you can easily calculate it as it is internal so you can easily calculate the radius r1 r2 or you can calculate c1 if you are given c2 or you can calculate this point of contact if you are given c1 c2 and r1 r2 right so this is the case now a third condition is that if c1 c2 okay let me write first the r1 r2 if r1 minus r2 is less than c1 c2 is less than r1 plus r2 then the two circles intersect each other at of course two points so two points let's say p and q so c1 c2 this c1 this is c2 c1 c2 is this and the sum of radii will be this plus this so c1 c2 is less than r1 plus r2 but it is greater than the difference between the radii okay r1 plus r2 but it is greater than the difference between the radii then they intersect each other at two points p and q this will be the one point p this will be the other point q the next point is that if you have c1 c2 is equals to r1 minus r2 fine if the distance between the centers is equals to the uh, difference of the radii then two circles touch each other internally that means like this they touch each other, uh, each other internally at a point p such that c1 this is c1 this is c2 so c1 c2 is equals to the difference between their radii this minus this okay so let me mark that with green this total distance this is the radii of r2 and this distance or let's say this distance which is r1 so r2 minus r1 is equals to c1 c2 okay so that's why they touch internally they touch each other internally okay now next point is that if c1 c2 is less than this c1 c2 is less than r1 minus r2 actually what we are doing we are immigrating in two circles first of all they were not intersecting each other they were apart from each other then they were intersecting then they were touching each other then they were intersecting then the other circle came on into the another circle touching it internally and then the last case is like this in this case c1 c2 is less than r1 minus r2 so you can easily learn this that this is the distance between the centers c1 c2 and this is the r1 and r2 so easily you can learn this fine so if this is the case then this will be the case so the one circle lies completely inside the other circle fine so this is the case then we have one two more important things i have to say about the circle chapter this is one of the most important chapters so two inter intersecting circles are said to cut each other orthogonally if the, these are two circles as say and they are said to be touching this is let's say s is equals to 0 s dash is equals to 0 they are cutting each other orthogonally then the condition i told you was 2 g g dash plus 2 f f dash is equals to c plus c dash okay now this is the condition and one more condition is there that d square is equals to r1 square plus r2 square where let me write it with green where d is equals to the distance between between the centers of two intersecting circles fine right? the centers between two intersecting circles in r1 r2 are the radii of the respective two circles fine right? so if they are the circles are intersecting orthogonally if and only if these two conditions are satisfied fine right? d is the distance as r1 r square r1 square plus r2 square is the radii square 
Fine, so here we complete our circle. Now we proceed with ellipse.